Microsoft announced that its virtual assistant Cortana will be available on a number of new devices. The requirements seem pretty simple. It just needs a screen and the ability to run Windows 10. So joining us now to discuss this is Anthony Ha, senior writer at TechCrunch. Anthony, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Is this as simple as it seems? Let's talk a little bit about how to get Cortana into homes. What do customers need? Well, I think it's this announcement is less um, for customers immediately. It's more a question of you know all the different manufacturers of refrigerators and other smart devices. And if they choose to include this version of Windows 10, um, it will also include Cortana. And let's talk a little bit about some of the things that Cortana will be able to do. What are some of the features? Well, I mean, it's, it's in some ways quite similar to other voice assistants like Siri. Um, but they did also announce some new features. Uh, one is the, basically the ability to speak to Cortana from four meters away, so you don't have to sort of lean in and be like talking right into the speaker. Um, another is the ability to wake a device up from sleep mode, so you could sort of you know say, hey, you know, wake up, and uh, and then have it you know, rather than you know touching the screen to turn it on. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive when you think about the distance metric there, um, and the idea that you could basically just be if somebody didn't know any better, just sort of talking to the air a little bit. Right. Um, Although the thing to keep in mind, I think, is that in all these cases, it's they tell you that it's that much, but then you know, actually doing a demo in a loud room is another matter. Yeah, fair point. Uh, so as of now, Cortana is lagging competitors. Uh, Apple Siri, which you just mentioned, Google's voice assistant, especially Amazon's Alexa. Uh, how hard do you think it will be to become a viable competitor to these other virtual assistants? Um, I mean, I think it's still very early. I think most people, you know, maybe have heard of Siri, maybe tried it out once or twice, but I think it's still a very early game. That said, I, I do think um, Microsoft and Cortana have a big disadvantage that they don't have phones in everyone's pockets, and so this is one of the ways they're going to try to use to catch up, but it's going to be tough. Great. Well, Anthony Ha, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.